in this third video we're going to show you how to set up the epic game launcher so you set up in the previous video uh, your account with uh, uh, epic games and you were able to use your google account as of recently which is great so students don't no longer have to create a new account they can keep their school board uh, account and in, in our case we're a google school board so you can have access to your google account and just use that so you're going to download the epic game launcher and once you've done that you will uh, log in uh, to it and um, that's what i'm doing so in my case i'll just sign in with my google which i've already done and it remembers that do that again and once you're inside the account okay so we're going to go here in this section you're logged in now to the epic game launcher there's a lot of stuff that could distract you the thing that we're interested in is the unreal engine so if you click on that uh, you will see that you can uh, actually launch this and the first time you need to launch this and uh, one thing that is really important is be aware that wherever you install this you need space so not every school board will have this set up one of the things that we do is we use portable drives like these and we also you can now buy little thumb drives that can uh, hold up to 130 meg uh, gigs that is uh, which is huge and uh, what we do is we have one terabyte hard drives now many school boards like ours have a separate hard drive with like 500 gigs on it so you need a lot of space i'm going to state that right from the start you need a lot of space for this to work okay uh, and before you do this assignment you should make sure that all these things work so once you launch it it'll install it and as you can see i've already installed it be aware that the installation takes at least 45 minutes to an hour so I would do this before. If you were going to do it with students, you do it at the beginning of class and do another lesson. And I've done that many times and it works fine. So, uh, you know, just be aware that the setting up of the Unreal Engine. And just so you know, we're currently setting up all the technical stuff first. And then we're going to actually do some things like some research, et cetera, in other places. But uh, I like to start off with this because you'll make sure everything works uh, for you. So in this case, I would just click launch and the Unreal Engine will open and you'll make sure that uh, you also make sure that when you create this, you create it on the drive that has a lot of room. So in my case, I put it on our D drive. So whenever the first time I launched this, it asked me, where would you like to save it? That's critical. Make sure you don't put it on a small drive because it will not work. So in my case, I put it on the D drive. Okay, so that's it for uh, setting that part up. So we're just gonna continue and set it up to make sure everything works. So as you can see, you probably have nothing here. Uh, it'll open in the first, uh, There's it, it shows you some of the things you can use this for, for games, film and television, architecture and automotive. Now I'll remind you of something I said, this is a very complex program. It's used in industry. So it can do basic things, but it's meant to use to be used to do advanced things it's kind of the goal of bit of this whole tutorial series is to show you that uh, it's pretty exciting and just doing some basic stuff could really get uh, you interested in in this so what i'll do uh, is show you how to do setup and i'll probably demo this later uh, if you should only do this once because once you create a project it takes up room on the hard drive and again that might be an issue at your school board so in this case we're going to go with a game we're going to go with blank, okay? And there's all kinds of different, and these are basically templates with, which come with a lot of some basic code, but I will teach you how to do it from a blank. And you click next. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to choose a blueprint project. We're going to lower the quality and we're going to disable ray tracing. Now, if you have powerful computers, you may want to enable this. Uh, this will make your graphics much nicer, but most school boards won't be able to support this unless you're an advanced, uh, you know, uh, com tech type uh, computer science lab. And I'm going to add the starter content. So this just gives us some basic visual effects and so on. Now, here's where the big error often happens. So right down here, you're, you're noticing that it's saving it to my C drive where I know I don't have any room. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to begin by finding the correct folder. So for me, it's this concept art folder. And I'm going to create my project. And I recommend you write the name of the student here. So my project, Dubo. So I don't mix it up. If you were doing this with two different groups and both of them were saving it to the D drive, this is where all the work is going to be. So always put the student's name there. And make sure they also know not to delete any other student projects. So if everybody has access to this D drive for some reason, really important. I'll click create and the project will begin to be created. So I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, what you may want to just do in your case before you start this whole project is to make sure that this works on your computers, um, which may not. And if you'll notice, the version of Unreal Engine that I've installed is 4.25.3. You should always use the latest version if you can. And um, if you have the Epic Game Launcher, you shouldn't have a problem uh, being able to do that. Okay. So the first time you set this up, it's also slow. So I'm just going to stop it there because I know it'll work on my computer. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave them below in the YouTube comments. Thanks.